The third image is a term that describes what we see for a brief moment in time as one image fades into the next. Unfortunately, we don't have control of how long the third image remains on screen because we can't pause a transition halfway through. While making your presentation in PTE AV Studio, you may spot the potential for the third image. If so, open the two images into Photoshop layers just as we can see here. Click, drag and drop is the way we can do that. Now you'll notice here that I've labelled this image, image 1, and this one, image 3. Because although we call this term the third image, we're going to create a physical image, but it's actually going to appear between these two. So it's going to become image 2. Now the way we do that is to select the top layer and investigate one of the blend modes that you can see here. Now to save some time, I'm going to go down to the one that I think works best with these two images. It's soft light. Once I've selected that, what I need to do next is to create that third image. If you hold the Alt key and you go to the top right of the layers, we can go down and choose Merge Visible. Now what Photoshop has just done is amalgamate both of those images into a new layer for us. And there we have our third image. I'm going to double click and call this image 2. Not important we do that, but it may help. But for the moment, I'm just going to turn it off because I've got to remember that this layer is amalgamated with this one using soft light. So now I've got a mix of the two, I can return this one to normal. Let me drag that into the middle, turn them all off. Now we can see how they're going to come up in PTE AV Studio. This image first, there's our physical third image. And because it's a third image, we can hold it on screen for as long as we like. And then there's the image that comes next. When we view the three images in PTE AV Studio's timeline window, this image is the first one. Then we come to our third image, and now you can see what I mean when I say it appears second of three. And here is the real second image. But of course, from the viewer's point of view, they're going from this image to this image. But we can just pause a short while on the third image in the middle. With three images in the timeline, we have control of the slide duration between those images, the transition style, and also the length of that transition. But we also have some control over the pause of that third image, how long it's going to remain on screen. And of course, you also have control of different fade techniques, because another one that works very well here is the shapes transition. There are more opportunities with Photoshop to take the creation of the third image a stage further. Using layer masks is one of those options where we can make one part of the third image much more dominant. Now here's an example. The image of the skyscraper will appear first in the slideshow sequence. Then I want to bring this image on screen, so we need to create the third image. The best blend mode I could find here was hard light. So let me quickly select that. But you'll notice that it almost obliterates the skyscraper. So what I've done is to apply a layer mask. I've got the layer mask temporarily turned off at the moment. We can create a mask down at the bottom left of the layers palette. Then if we go over to the left hand side of the screen, choose black from the toolbox, select a soft edge brush, a flow rate of somewhere between 10 and 20%, and we can mask up the edge of the skyscraper and we can bring it through the layer beneath. If I click the mask, you can see the effect of that. 
All I would need to do now is to hold that Alt key, go to the top right and create my third image and then save them into PTE and there we have another example. In my view this technique can add appeal to our presentations without the general viewer even being aware of it.